Hi guys! Simsa, let's go, Simsa, let's go, Simsa, let's go, Simsa, let's go, Simsa, let's go. Um, so we do have a prediction today. The options are strawberry Red Bull infusion or watermelon Red Bull infusion. We are going to be playing Career Legacy today. A lot happened in the last one. Uh, we had all four of our kids and we're gonna, we're planning on moving them in. So we need to like make some adjustments to the house. So we're gonna do that for a little while and then hopefully get into some gameplay. What is a Red Bull infusion? <laughs> it's a uh, Red Bull and then they put like the Tarani like syrups in it and you can get like all different kinds of flavors. It's game changing. Right, gen four, business career. S a super extra gen. Uh, you have to fight your nemesis every time you see them and like, you have to have like a super luxurious apartment. So I was, remember when I said that I wanted to have a gen that had like a super maximalist house? I think that would be the perfect generation for that. Uh, girl boss, let's go. Yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs> it looks like it could be either, but look at the size of this thing. It's literally the size of my head. Uh, watermelon. <laughs> oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's so good. I was like, it's Friday. I'm gonna treat myself with a massive energy drink. Here we are. Okie dokie guys, here we are back in the Orin household. We have Teddy here. Uh, wow, we actually did a lot in the last stream. We won a bodybuilding reality show. We got promoted a couple of times, so we're already level nine. We got a dog, Pochita here. Uh, he's a Shiba Inu. He does not like the record player apparently. We had, so two streams ago, Teddy lost his virginity to Lacey here. Lacey got pregnant and it was a surprise. I didn't know like what was going on because Teddy used protection, but I guess she either poked a hole or it just didn't work. Perceived as very attractive now. That went up. It, just, it didn't, didn't say that before. It only said attractive. Interesting. Uh. But yeah, she was like, what's up, dude? I had a baby, her name's Erica. And we were like, cool. And then, so I decided that she is was just gonna have all of our babies. So we got her pregnant three more times. So she had Erica, Caitlin, Charlie, and Joelle. She named them all, which I kind of like. Yeah, Caitlin, Joelle, and Erica all have like dark brown hair. Caitlyn has purple eyes. The rest have brown eyes. And Charlie looks exactly like us. Like hair color, eye color. She's just our mini me, which is really adorable. Oh my God, how funny is this? This is our, this is Theo's, wait. Yeah, this is Theo's makeup artist. Remember Theo would always have the same makeup artist that she got pregnant with a werewolf, Christopher. So Christopher, is the father of the girl that Matthew had a child with. Oh, I love it when things connect like that. It's so funny. Bernardo and Ace are elders now. And it looks like Elle is the only one with a job. Adelaide aged up to a teen. That's exciting. So yeah, I guess we should probably build a little bit because I do want the children to move in with us. So maybe we should convert his bedroom into like a hallway of sorts. Okay, so we got like a little area here that can be for like, I don't know, art or an office or something. And then down into a hallway that will go, that will go into, maybe the hallway can keep going. And let's see. And wrap this way. Um, and we'll have some bedrooms over here, I suppose. I don't really know. I'm terrible at uh, floor plans and they don't really make sense, but I'm just gonna do what feels right. Okay, so we got two bedrooms there. And then we need to figure out where we wanna put the master bedroom. I guess we could put it on this side so that they're like separated. Oh, we need another bathroom too. Maybe we can get rid of this like random like room and make it part of the bedroom or make it like a closet. 
and then into their bathroom here. Maybe we should line the entire hallway with windows. Let's go ahead and work on the master quickly. Um, gonna use the same bed. Boom. Gonna... And this was here. I don't know why, but I like the way it looks. We had this at the foot of the bed. It's so weird that there's no headboard. It's kind of bothering me. Ooh, this one has a headboard. Actually, it's the same one with the headboard. Where should the girls' bathroom be? Maybe we should do like a couple of super small en suites? All right, toilet, toilet, shower, shower. Oh, wow, I'm not making a custom shower. Who is she? Don't know, or am I? <laughs> Maybe they could share a bathroom. I, feel, I hate having a double sink because like there's no counter space. You know what I mean? Maybe we should flip. Yes, sir. That could work. The toilet placement is pissing me off. <laughs> oh man, one sink to share. Sheesh. All right then. Sorry, girls. Sorry, girls. What's this thingy? Oh, that is so cute. Uh, I want this. How can I incorporate this? <laughs> it's adorable. Okay, so. These two bedrooms are gonna house four girls. How am I going, how do I put the beds? Also, I have no idea what these girlies are like. So I guess we could just place all the same bed for now and then change it up later once we know their personalities a little bit. Maybe we should do bunk beds or we could do it like this and then like have like a computer and like clothes. That could work. And then on this room, um, Perhaps this room can have a vanity. All right, vanity and closet. Or maybe I should do desk and closet. I don't know. I love this desk so much aesthetically, but I hate that it doesn't have any slots to like clutter it up. Clothes and shoes. Oh my God, we're broke. Help. Well, I knew these autographs were gonna run out at some point. Okay, let me just, I think I need to reappraise them. I'm gonna put them back in Theo's inventory. I put them in the household inventory because I thought it would uh, help us with our bill issue, but it didn't. How much are they worth now? What? $1,000? What happened to 128,000? <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna sell them all. We're gonna run out of this money soon. Actually, no. God, this window with these blinds are so satisfying. I just love these blinds. They fit like a glove. I like this setup a lot. It looks good. Oh my god! I love Chipotle! Ugh, whatever. I'll worry about this later. I really wanna do gameplay. I want to age up the Gorials. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um, let's have a look at it so far. I'm not done, like not even a little bit, but I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Uh, so we chain or we switched the office to like this little area here, put the dog stuff there. Hi, Pochita. Uh, let's see, added that cool statement window. And then through here we have the master bedroom. Definitely not done. Oh, okay. Uh, look at the texture on this wallpaper. I've never noticed that. That's really cool. Um, so this is going to be their closet area. And then through here's their bathroom. Same bathroom as before. And then let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Through the office here, we have hallway. Oh, this hallway is pretty vibey. It definitely needs like some more moody lighting, but I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, here's bedroom number one for the girls. Oh, it's pretty cute in here actually. This one has a vanity. Um, go through the shared bathroom. We need decorations ASAP. Here's the second room. 
um, that has a desk and a computer. I'm thinking I might switch out the vanity for another desk and computer in the other one, but I don't know. We shall see. What? Who are you? And what is wrong with this door? I'm thinking I need to switch it out. Good morning, Teddy. What do we got going on today? You got work in five hours. You've done everything you need to. I think we're gonna get our last promotion today. I'm so excited. I am so freaking excited. Then we could 100% focus on climbing the mountain. Oh, gotta get up, gotta go to work. Gotta make some money. I hope you eat at work today. Focus, work hard, get that promotion, my boy. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, do you guys remember when Princess had that kid? And we thought that she had it with her new husband and she ended up not. She had it with some random dude. I was, I think about my Let's Plays a lot in my free time. Like when I'm in the shower, I'm just like sitting there, whatever. I was thinking that she probably had another surrogate baby. I think that makes the most sense. She had the kid with... Trey Lothario, death by electrocution? Good lord. Anyway, it's probably another surrogate baby. Or wishing well, yeah. Oh crap, the bills, gosh darn. Yes! We did it, we did it, we did it! Hello, he seamless. Mr. Solar System. He will now make an additional 244 per hour for a grand total of 550 per hour. He has also received the following bonus, 1,338. And a Solar we System Pro V. We did it, we did it. I don't see anything. Maybe it's in our household. We could add another trophy to our trophy case. That's so exciting. <gasps> wow, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's beautiful. Good job, Ted Meister. Good job. Oh, he's ad admiring Theo's autograph. So, let's see. Caitlin, I'm gonna need you to age up. Maybe I should just age all of them up. I have no patience when it comes to the new kids. Like, none at all. Age them up and move them in. Okay. Say less. Yes, what? Why are you barking at me? No, sir. Lecture about barking. Hey! Hey! Yes, I think it's the challenge is so entertaining because you make them age up fast. Perfect, I'm glad you feel that way. I'm glad. So should I age them up to teens then or children? What you guys think? Oh crap, I gotta pay the bills. Yeah, we could age them up to teens and then vote today. We are almost level six. <laughs> What's this diaper thing from? New toddler in town. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get Lacey over here and ask her to move in with us. Be my girl. Be my girl. Lacey is sleeping. Oh my god, it's 5.30 in the morning. Crazy. Eat cake. Boy. Oh gosh. Wow, look at that fish. It's so swirly. That's a whole fish, bro. That's a frog, isn't it? No, it's not. It's actually a fish. This is a, a sea creature. They swim in water. H2O. <laughs> oh my god, that's what frogs do. It's a frog. <laughs> oh my baby, what's wrong? Oh no, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Oh, Balafoy. My baby. No cry. Uh, so I'm a fry. Let's go for a jog. Not power conservation day. Ugh. They zoom in. They're freaking zooming. Oh my god, I'm getting uh, Theo flashbacks. Teddy, you stank. <laughs> I love it. Mount Kamarebi is so cute. I love this oh, town. Oh brother, this guy stinks! He does! He actually does though! Come on, Cheetah! <laughs> Vamos a la casa! Take a bath. Give Pochita a bath as well. Oh my god, the Yamakon is repairing our rock climbing wall. I don't mind that you come over all the time and use our computer then. You do that. You do you. Alright, well... I guess it's time to completely ruin my life and move in all the girls. Really don't want to, but I guess that's the name of the game, isn't it? 
It's just so peaceful and calming with one sim. Oh, 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 she coming. Oh lord, she coming. She's cute. Oh my god. So picturesque. Oh. Aww. She does not look happy. Finger guns, huh? What the? She flipped that bitch around. <laughs> oh, God. Where are you going? What a vibe. I feel like I'm watching an anime right now. All right, Teddy, get your butt over here. Hi! Fancy seeing you here. You wanna move in with me? Nice tights, my guy. Sheesh. Cute! Abasani. Oh, Lempima. Oh, she's a reefy. Oh, she's a reefy. Move in with me. Hey, she's got some money for us. Grassy. All right. So many, oh God. Okay, what are you wearing, Ted? What happened to you? Why do you look like that? Where'd your lashes go? There you go, my God. All right, let's go ahead and age up the babies then. So we've got Erica here who has the recycle disciple traits, which we are going to change because is that a is that a base is that a trait like a real trait or is that a custom trait i can't remember um i'm gonna age them up i'm gonna age them all up with mc command center right now so that they get randomized traits i'm scared actually i'm excited i'm excited to see who you guys choose okay that is a real trait all right so erica is recycled disciple and self-absorbed okay okay and then aspiration public enemy wow that's that's crazy uh okay self-absorbed public enemy who likes to recycle cool oh oh all right caitlin your turn dude green fiend <laughs> and then aspiration Mansion Baron. Green Fiend and... Oh shoot, Erratic. I thought that was a custom trait. Just kidding. Oh my goodness. Okay. That could be fun. These girls are gonna be a handful. Oh my god, they are. Ah! Okay, Charlie. First trait. No! I hate this trait! It's not even a trait! Aspiration. Public Enemy. Are you kidding me right now? This is insane. Family of super villains. <laughs> Being lactose intolerant is my favorite personality trait. What has her mom been teaching them? Literally. Okay. Second trait. Romantic. Okay. I hate this first one, but whatever. It is what it is. You know? It is what it is. All right. Last but not least, we got Joelle over here. A gassy romantic. <laughs> hey, people love the earth. I love that. All right, here we go. I hate it. I hate it. Survivalist. Survivalist with the angling ace aspiration. <laughs> No, that's custom. <laughs> Klepto. Bro. I am gonna have such a hard time with this. What's the next career? Business. Oh, God. Somebody call 911. Okay, well, the traits do not help us at all in deciding. They're not me, at least. Let's have a look at them in cast. Nayavuna Noose. Wait, Survivalist is really custom? For real? 
I can re-roll that one. We have to give this Joelle a new trait because we rolled survivalist, but that's a custom trait. And I'm trying not to use custom traits in this challenge. So, I mean, it's in the game, but you're not supposed to be able to just like pick it. It's like locked, you know? So, okay. So I'm gonna randomize again and whatever pops up in this first slot, we're gonna keep. And then we're gonna change the second one back to klepto. So here we go. Foodie, okay, a uh, uh, kleptomaniac who likes food and likes to fish. Okay, all right, let's start with, <laughs> let's start with uh, Erica, our self-absorbed recycled disciple who wants to be, who wants to make enemies and be a famous criminal. With the business career, bro. I mean, I guess that could be good for the business career, right? I don't see Teddy at all. Do you guys? I see Princess in her. Oh, I do too, actually. Okay, let me show you guys what Lacey looks like. Super cute. Okay, and then here is Teddy. Okay. His neck. It's just bulging at this point. Um, and princess. Yeah, I see princess now that you now that you mention it. I'm just gonna give her like a super quick makeover and then See I have a soft spot for these sad brows. I don't know what it is I should probably pick something different for once in my life. Hmm. She had brown hair, right? I'm not crazy I wonder how she would look with that b bish bob haircut. Ooh, what haircut's that? Oh man, this screams business woman. We're gonna have to use that whenever what, a, our sim ages up. Okay, she's kind of killing this. Would like to see we have platinum blonde. Yeah, we could do that. Bob, 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 <laughs> my eyes. Oh my, with this fit. <laughs> Woof! Yeah, she looks pretty freaking cool. I want this in real life. Okie dokie then. All right. Well, there's Erica. Oops, I forgot to put the most crucial thing on. Blush. All right, let's move on to Caitlyn. Caitlyn is our green fiend who's a little bit erratic. She has the mansion baron aspiration. She, all of these girls are getting their mum's buddy apparently. Okay, she's so wholesome looking. <laughs> I love her. She seems like a nice person. Anyone else getting them vibes? Or is it just me? Oh, this is butterish layered with magnolia. That's nice. Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is really adorable. Yeah, she needs to be like a super sweetheart, like super innocent dressed, like cutie. Oh, she should wear this matching set. All right, there's Caitlyn. Future girl boss with a Maximus loft and Samai Shuno. Love it. Okay, next up we've got Charlie. Charlie is romantic and lactose and toddler ants. She also has the public enemy aspiration. Same exact body type. Looks nothing like Theo, actually. She aged, aged up with a nose piercing, so she can she can be the one that has it. Ooh, she actually looks good with the downturn lashes. Not many Sims do. It makes her look less like, like Botoxy, you know what I mean? Like her, it like relaxes her face a little bit more. For this challenge, they don't have to complete their aspiration, right? Nah, they don't. I don't know why I thought that they had to and we were like so focused on it and on the first gen. Then I realized that we didn't even need to do it. Aw, these brows make her look so soft. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Ooh, cute. Oh, wow. Ooh. I haven't had a sim with super long hair in a long time. I want to give her like all the frecks. Like these. Oh my god, she looks like- I, we talked about Little Women in the last stream, but she looks like Beth from the most recent remake of it. 
the Timothy Chalamet <laughs> one. See, I also get businesswoman vibes from her too, guys. What are we gonna do? Yeah, I think this is gonna be your aesthetic. Um. Okay, so I guess we're spinning the wheel today. This should be fun. I'm scared. I am. Okay, Charlie. This. This is her. Um. Last but not least, we've got Joelle, who is a foodie and a klepto, and she likes to fish. Okay. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. I'm digging the br the big brows. Let's do these brows. Why not? Why the heck not? That lip mole. Kind of love it. All right. Uh, let's see. Whoa. That's badass. What color was her hair? Oh, dark brown. I guess it doesn't have to be. She's hot. I'm kind of digging this pixie cut. What do you guys think? Oh my god, this swatch is awesome. Dang, I think I like this one the best. Businesswoman vibes or nah? Dang, that's sick. She looks like she belongs in a video game. Plot twist, she already is in a video game. We're gonna do a little bit of a ah. poll now. Actually, a lot of bit of a poll, a very important poll. We are going to decide the next heir. I'll go through them again. First up, our firstborn, Miss Erica Wells. Actually, we need to change their last name to Orin. Erica Orin, uh, she's self-absorbed, a recycled disciple, which means that she really likes rummaging for bits and recycling. And she has a public enemy aspiration, so she wants to be make enemies and be a famous criminal. Erica, E-R-I-C-K-E-R-I-C-A. Uh, e Next up. We have Caitlyn. Caitlyn has the green Ooh. fiend trait. Happiest women on a green street and will always work in, um, work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. And she's erratic, so she could talk to herself and have unpredictable emotions. And she has the mansion baron aspiration. Caitlyn Wells, everybody. Um, and then we have Charlie. Charlie is lactose in toddler ants and romantic. And she also has the public enemy aspiration as well. Charlie. And then we have Joelle. Joelle is a foodie and a klepto, and she has the fishing aspiration. All right, so I expect everyone to take into consideration traits for the next gen. Let me remind you what the next gen is. All right. Business career. You have a business rival. You absolutely hate them. Who do you think they are? Trying to steal their success and get in your way? Whoever it is, you must have a festering grudge against them and fight them every time you see them in public. They basically make you feral. Reach level 10 business career. Reach level 10 charisma, logic, and mischief. You have a few tricks up your sleeve being a business person. Optional side quest, get a penthouse apartment, or live in a house worth at least 100,000 simoleons. Your sim better be living that life of luxury. And I was thinking that we should do a maximalist style for their house. Um, we're gonna hop on over here so we can see the results. Caitlin is winning by a crap ton. Holy cannoli, would you look at that. <laughs> Dang. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised. Ooh. Well, hot dang. Meet your new heir, everybody. Caitlin. Caitlin is our new heir. <laughs> Who would you have chosen? Um... Caitlyn does make the most sense, in all honesty. Uh, her business could be, like, something that betters the environment. Like, that's the kind of business that she's in. Um, and then the erratic trait, I think, is gonna be fun because of what we need to do with, like, fighting and stuff like that. I don't know. And then the aspiration, obviously because we have to have a super fancy home. And she's freaking beautiful. She's the only one with purple eyes, which is pretty unique. Are we spinning the wheel today? Oh yeah, I owe you guys a wheel spin. I could spin now, and then if whatever it lands on is gonna take too long, 
then I can just do it in the next stream. I think that was the swatch that we, yeah, okay. Cool, that was fun. I wonder how many kids she'll have. Oh, we can totally do that now. I'm so impatient. We also need to randomize our sexuality. This is how many kids uh, Caitlin is going to have. <sighs> I'm manifesting one or two. One or two. One or two. One or two. Lagged. Ah! But I don't want to. Oh, you're right. I can't. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You can't have the same number as the previous gen. Let's go. Okay, let's get another drum roll. I'll do it. Here we go. Woo! I'll take it. I will take it. The lower the number, the better. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, Caitlin hates gardening, which is weird because she has that green fiend. That doesn't make any sense. No, you can't dislike gardening, I'm sorry. Okay, well, they're all burning to death, so that's fun. So who should share a room? I'm kind of vibing. Erica and Charlie or Erica Frick. I don't know put them based on age. So Erica and Caitlin and Charlie and Joelle who has the public enemy aspirations again Charlie and Erica Maybe they should room together. They can like plot their evil schemes. All right last but not least Let's go ahead and randomize uh, the girls sexualities Um, Let me write this down cuz I always forget all right, so First up, we have, oh my God, Erica. She has feelings for feminine people, but does not have physical feelings for anybody. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take a picture. This is way easier. Okay. And then let's do another one. Okay, uh, Caitlin, a uh, straight female. Charlie, uh, Charlie has romantic feelings for men, but does not have physical feelings for anybody. Okay, wow, we have a very uh, non-sexual bunch. Female, uh, last but not least, we've got Joelle. Nice. All right, perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and spin the wheel because we did meet our bit goal of the day. Um, if you guys are new here, if I meet my sub goal or my bit goal of the day, we spin this wheel that has all kinds of messed up stuff on it that'll just completely ruin my game. Um, but it's all fun in games. <laughs> Please be gentle. <sighs> that actually sucks. That actually really sucks. Oh no. Oh no. It was the worst of times. It was the worst of times. Okay, let's let me go ahead and randomly generate Caitlyn's preferences so that you guys know what to make. I will also post them in the Discord later. Um so we go on wonderful no. What was it? Attractiveness. Um, develop strong preferences. Wait, no. I want it to be random. Develop preferences. So, let's see what she's into, shall we? I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna go through this real quick. Um, okay. Alright, she likes a masculine appearance. She likes humans. She doesn't like mermaids, werewolves, ghosts, or plant sims. She likes black hair and uh, orange hair. She doesn't dislike any hair colors. She likes short hair and long hair. Um, straight hair. And beards. Eye color gray, blue, green, and brown. Freckles and tattoos. She has no preference in body weight, no preference in muscle, no preference in boombas or. Oh, she likes small butts. Outfits. She likes green and yellow clothing. <laughs> She likes rocker style and preppy style. 
Yo, talk about opposite ends of the spectrum. And then she likes hats, piercings. That is all. I will be posting this in the Discord for you guys if you want to make me a, make me a sim to upload for her. She said, either you're a bad boy or not. Yeah, seriously, make a decision. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you so freaking much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Night! Night!